Fujin in. Peking Tyson. Oasis Queen. Just about ready. And uh, away they go. Another fair start for them. Peking Tyson just ridden that early to hold position. Rosalind Chapel, one of the first to break. Cape Leopard is positively ridden. So too is Awakening. Cruz Cruz committing from a deep draw. Fusion just off the lead as the red sleeves and the white cap. Then Colonel Bogey, who's also very keen and over racing. They followed further back by Oasis Queen. That's made some ground club blue with a red cap. Arcavango Delta is just over a length behind her. Then Omaha Tribe, Peking Tyson, three quarters of the way back. Pachuco and White Leaf Hills are the next two. Darts are length races towards the rear. And Titus is lost. Past the 1600 and Cruz Cruz managed to get to the lead from a deep draw and that's in front by a length. Awakening, check sleeves and cap is second. Rosalind Chapel broke out well, now races back in third. Cape Leopard and Colonel Bogey travel together. Cape Leopard one off the rail. Colonel Bogey is three deep onto the back straight. Whiteley Hills making a move in the yellow colours. That's now at the outside of Oasis Queen. Fujin now midfield. Okavango Delta. Omaha Tribe was next best. Pecking Tyson joined by Pachuco. Then comes Darta Lincoln just over a length away to Tyson. Titus and he races at the back of the field and now they increase the speed and Colonel Bogey is the new leader. Cruz Cruz is second and White Leaf Hills was caught in no man's land trying to make a move but others were alert to the task. He improved into a share of second though but he covered plenty ground. Then comes Awakening, Roslyn Chapel. Roslyn Chapel lost a few places but he's only about four lengths off the leader. Then comes Cape Leopard joined by Oasis Queen. Fugin Pachuco is very deep. Then comes Data Link. She's made a bit of ground. Okavango Delta and Omaha Tribe, they the next two. Titus and Peking Tyson has dropped to the rear. They went past the 600. Whiteleaf Hills had no options but to go up and join Colonel Bogey up front. Cruz Cruz right there in third, awakening just a length and a half behind the leader. Then Roslyn Chapel, Fugin, Cape Leopard, Black Sleeves and Cap has been asked to run. Titus may have some running but got some horses to get past. Darta Link was further back. Okavango Delta up the inside is alive and kicking as well. Into the final 200 and to Whiteleaf Hills credit, he's still right there. Okavango Delta rushing up his inside. Then comes awakening Titus and Darta Link, Okavango Delta, Whiteleaf Hills, Awakening, the line is coming, Whiteleaf Hills beats Awakening, Okavango Delta just seemed to stop late, Omaha Tribe was running on it's a photo for third. That was one heck of a ride from Muziani, Whiteleaf Hills. Seemed to get stuck in no man's land when he tried to make a move and his stable companion Colonel Bogey had the same idea and forced Whiteley Hills to halt that idea. But Whiteley Hills, the son of a Shawis in the colours of the Hollywood Syndicate nominee James Everett, trained by Gavin Smith and owned and bred rather by James Armitage, is just going to get him. What happened to, to Okavango Delta up the inside? He's in contention. Whoosh. Whiteley Hills, awakenings nearest us. But Whiteley Hills will just keep awakening at bay as the line comes. He's just made it. Whiteley Hills. Second goes the way of number six, Awakening. Third goes the way of 15, Omaha Tribe. And then came Okavango Delta in fourth. Data Link, Cruz Cruz. Titus had some running in him, just couldn't unwind in time. After them, two, Oasis Queen. Then came Cape Leopard, Roslyn Chapel, Pachuco. Peking Tyson, Fugin, Colonel Bogey, they were the next few to finish. A race full of action. Number nine, White Leaf Hills, and the yellow with the purple stars, the white blinkers. Good ride from Muzi to keep him going. Awakenings at his outside. Okavango Delta's alive. And just misjudgment as uh, Omaha Tribe ended up running that one out of third place. So nine, six, 15, and eight, the order of finish.
White Leaf Hills, what a finish. Going into this, I knew it was open, but as everyone hurtled for that winning line at the same time, you realise just how open. And I've got to say, well done, masterful finish. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been a bit of a trick yours to ride, and he's also, when he started off with them, he's been costing himself, jumping out very slow, and mm. loses the race, gets beaten a length two, and... Also me trying to work him out what he wants. Yes. There hasn't been pace in the race. You take him to the front, he stops. So a bit tricky to ride, and uh, thank God today, whatever did manage to fall into place. And uh, even at the end when the challenges came, showed a lot of guts and courage, and uh, he won a good race. Well, you've certainly got a lot of very happy supporters on the sideline. You've made their day, and you've definitely given a very entertaining edge. Yeah, it hasn't <laughs> been easy. I'm out of breath, trying to keep him going. <laughs> but anyway, nice to see him uh, come across the line first. And just well done to the Hollywood team for coming through. Yeah. I was wondering where they were in the parade ring. I thought they had no <laughs> faith. I thought they'd given up on him today. So nice to see them come down and shout and uh, celebrate the win. Was he very well done? Thank you. It's just uh, nice to Mr. Owen. I was watching, probably watching at the office. And well done to the Hollywood team, Mr. Smith, obviously for keeping him on the tick for so long. And obviously to the whole team here, lovely to have them here. And to winning from the publishing side, thank you. Brilliant. Standing by, it looks like we've got trainer Gavin Smith up next, the White Leaf Hills in the winner's box. And I had a chat with you earlier in the week. You said, no, rest is not a problem. And it certainly looks have pepped him up and just got that uh, point one of a length out of him. Uh, he's flourished down here, Nate. You know, he's holding his condition well and uh, he's put on lovely muscle and he's holding his form well on the poly, but he's a tricky little guy. He tends to want to hold back and, and sometimes he doesn't give of his best. Eh? And I mean, even when he hit the front, you, you could see he was looking for everything but the winning yeah. post, you know. And uh, I think we had a bit of luck in our hand and the Hollywood guys shouted him home. So, you know, it was very nice and a lovely win for Hollywood and just well done to the big boss to Owen. Well done to him and, and to James uh, for the racing side of things. Well done and Hollywood's doing tremendous Tremendous jobs out the country and what they did up in Natal at the July was tremendous to see racing needs that injection from people and it's lovely to see new people into it and, and the way they're going forward yeah. is, is lovely to see. Absolutely brilliant and glad you've got, uh, their, the, you've got their support behind you. Congratulations. Great and lovely to have everybody here. It certainly is. Talking about everybody, we've got two people coming up to represent uh, a whole host of Hollywood people. So come on in, Mfonda and Salvin. Salva, sorry, my Salvana, my apologies. And... Um, well, when you come for days racing, you want excitement, you want winners, and geez, did you get both? Yes, we did. You've seen the guys were so <laughs> excited when yeah. they saw Whiteleaf crossing the line. And you know, the horse is in a good shape, I must, I must say. Thanks to Gavin, thanks to Muzi. He pushed the horse. Thank you. We saw a good win, a good race, and uh, yeah, we're happy as Hollywood. And I must say, the screaming and shouting could have definitely be what, what carried him over the line. And were you also giving a good yell? Oh, yes, most definitely. <laughs> I'm sure that we assisted with the screams because we were calling him home. And the horse looked amazing. But the Hollywood family stands strong. And Hollywood Bets is so important because they are really putting in so much into horse racing. And you can just see the culture and um, the personality that we come with. So thank you so much, and thank you to our Hollywood family. It's been an absolute pleasure having you guys here. So glad to have you in the winner's box, and well done. Thank you, thank you, Nadine. Thank, thank you. you. Brilliant to have the Hollywood uh, Bets team here, and congratulations to them. It has been a scintillating race, and Muzzy's done a fantastic job to get uh, White Leaf Hills, who represents them, over the winner's line and first. He's really carried that horse over, and uh, really good to see the enthusiasm of the guys here. It's been great. Well done to them.